Hi there, this is a tutorial on how to create a works cited. So I have opened up my research project where I have put my sources. And the next step is to open up a new Google document. And I want to label it with my last name, English 11 and works cited. And you can see that I've already put work cited at the top of the page. To do that, um, I went and I centered my cursor. So you can just um, click on the little icon with the lines and you can just click the center. You could also do this by going to format, align and indent and just click on center where I then type works Oops, works cited. And then I hit enter one time and move my cursor back to the left. Then I'm ready to start. So I'm going to toggle back to my research articles. So I have my sources and I have the website address. What I'm going to do first is I am going to highlight the web address. So I'm just gonna highlight it. I'm gonna go Control C to copy. And then I'm going to go to Tools. And once I'm in Tools, I'll go down to Citations. Now, because I've opened this up already, um, the book has already been entered in there, which I will give you in class so that you can add it to your Works Cited page as well. For our purposes for Source 1, I'm going to make sure that my citation is set to MLA 8th edition. That's what we use for English class. Other classes use different ways of documenting. Um, so it's just a preference according to your subject matter. So always ask your teacher or professor. So we're using MLA. I am going to go to add citation source. And because this is a website, I want to make sure that I mark that as a website. Okay, then I'm going to paste my URL. I'm going to hit control V and paste my first website in. I'll hit search. It will populate the information. I'll hit continue. And then um, again, as I scroll through, I can see everything that can be filled out is filled out. I'll hit add citation source. And it populates right on the right hand side for me. So I'm going to actually copy this information. I'm going to go control C and in my source document, I am going to just paste that so that I have it. At this point, if you wanted to, you could highlight this and double space it like you will want on your Works Cited page. You can double space it. And then I like to take this triangle at the bottom and you move it in half of an inch, right? So that we have that hanging indent. You don't have to do this at this time. You can wait and do it on your final Works Cited page, but sometimes it's nice just to have it done. So I will do that with my second source as well. So I'm gonna scroll down going to copy my website. So control C. I'm going to add a citation source. This is another website. So I will choose website. Control V to paste in my web address, the URL. Hit search. Now this says that the title is missing. So, as well as contributors. So, because I still have the link here, I can go to that website 
and I can find any information um, that I need to fill in. So the title of this is The Malai Massacre, and it's by History.com Editors. So I'm just going to go back and fill in that missing information. So I'll hit continue. And whoops, sorry, delete that. All right. I'm going to click add citation, and then it populates that for me. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say control C for copy, and I'm going to paste that in there. Now, if you notice up here, it says cite. This will actually give you the insight, or excuse me, the um, in-text citation that you can actually use in your paper. Um, this is not 100% correct. Um, as you can see, the citation I would want you to use for in-text citations, so this would be after you give a quote, I would just want you to have history there. And then um, because it shows up in this document, you would include this page number, if that makes sense. So if I go back up to the first source here that I have, if I go to site, it's going to put the author's last name, Ray. So for whatever reason, because I didn't move my cursor, it did that, so I'm just going to go up here and put in text citation, and that's going to be Ray, and then the page number and the period outside. So that's just for me to kind of help me remember. All right, so our next step is to go back to our Works Cited page and to copy this information into our Works Cited page. One thing I forgot to mention, um, our work side of page needs to be in alphabetical order. And if you look here on the side, this lovely tool is already doing that for you. Um, so you will just need to copy all of these and paste them in this order for your work side of page to be correct. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to take my first citation. Okay, I'm going to go back down. I suppose I could do it just from the side too, but I know I've already got it here. All right. And oops, I need to get rid of that because that was my in-text citation. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to highlight it. Control V. I'm sorry, Control C. Wow. I'm going to go to my Works Cited page, and I'm going to hit Control V, and that copies it. I'm going to hit Enter one time. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to put in the things they carried. And again, I will already have that for you on your Works Cited page, so you'll just have to work around it. And then my last one. All right, so now I need to highlight this. I need to put it in size 12 font. I need to make sure that my line spacing is double spaced, which it did not do that. And then once I have that, I want to make sure that the second line in all of my citations is a hanging indent. So I just, the easiest way for me to do this is to just grab the triangle here up at the top 
and to move that in. Another super easy way to do this is to go up to Format, to go to Align and Indent. Go down to Indentation Options. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to Special Indent and down to Hanging. And it will do it for you. You hit Apply and it's done correctly. All right. So I have a perfectly formatted works cited page in alphabetical order that will give me all of the points on the rubric. Yay for me. Good luck, everyone.